Fellow warriors, how's going? This is Kessen. Welcome back to Dusty Wars 3. Right, we managed to finish my least favorite stage ever, the Naman. And now let's go on to the next battle. The Battle of Yu Ting. Okay, that's of course like a main stage for Lucian. It's like Lucian's main stage, this one. Besides He Ling, there's also Yu Ting. Don't think we- no, we're not gonna get the level 3 weapon. Of course, I'm not even bothered about it because look, the level 3 weapon is better looking- I mean, the, yeah, the level 2 weapon is better looking than the level 3. So why should I even want to get the level 3? Well, I don't either because Lu Lucian is like a, a combo monster. That's like the only reason I need that. Oh, I almost forgot that we got on the golden. It's golden now, the 7 stars blade, and I guess... I mean, the Musou armor is on golden. Yeah, we're going on 7 star blades now. So we can start racking some combos. Because it's re we're really getting close, guys. We're absolutely getting close. Uh, let's check the body, because I think... Uh, oh, yeah. I'm still a crossbow. Got um, the level 3 weapon for the crossbow. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, indeed. Right. We are settled. I think we are like sort, sort of the leader. Wait, the leader. We're so officer, but okay. But the, but the shouts are of Sir Generals. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, the, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. This is like the Shao battles, the battle where the two Shaos are in the game together, besides um, what it's called. The Conquest of Wu territory. Determined to quell the rising threat from the south, Lu Zun sets out and battles with the strange Nanman troops. Following a hard battle, Wu's victory earns the respect of the Nanman army. Having built up their power, Shu once again sets out to do battle with Wang. The Wu Viceroy, Zhou Fang, comes up with a hidden poison plot and pretends to defect to Wang. In an effort to prove his allegiance to Wei, Zhou Fang even cuts his own beloved locks of hair, thereby tricking Cao Zhu. In the year 228, serving as a guide, Zhou Fang leads Cao Zhu and the Wei army to Yo Ting. There, Lu Zun and the other Wu generals lie in ambush, waiting for the right moment to strike. Right, so I'm glad that they mentioned Zhou, Zhou Fang's cut his hair, because I, I don't think they ever mention it anymore. The preparations are now complete! Lu Jun, what do you think of this plan? The enemy is Sima Yi. It will only be a matter of time before they see through this. The timing must be perfect. We must all do our part. The enemy Sima Yi! On the east and west and lay siege to Kao Ju. Lay siege to Kao Ju. I remember the... I, you could obviously see... Uh, the, the part with every Carter, basically. Besides, uh, like... A Carter replacing Shen Xiang and asking for Lucius' opinion, I think. Like, it, it's absolutely hilarious. I, like, honestly. They all. No, I think they replace um, Lucius, actually, not Sun Shen Xiang. Let us begin. I don't remember, but you can play the Scott scenes with, with any Carter. But I don't remember who's who's get replaced, uh, who gets the dialogue. Like see Sun Shen Shang of Lucian, I don't really remember. Like, that's what I really love about Dynasty Warriors 3, the fighter. You can literally play every cutscenes with any character, even the most irrelevant character like like Donjo. Like really. Honestly, it, it's hilarious. Come on. Come on. So, no! Ooh, oh well. Here is Dim Sum. This stage, the battle of you think, is like very common to farm items, even to I have found a better one. You can check that out uh, on my tutorial, which is a member exclusive. You Learn your place. It's a beginner member exclusive, that tutorial, so you can check it out with that. If you're interested, because there's a better and faster method to farm for items. Oh, 
God, I hate Zenji because she always like uh, blur my my side every every time she plays the flute. A card I'm not looking forward to play is Zenji because, like I say, guys, it she does blur my side a lot every time. Really, she does blur my side. I don't like it. I don't know if it's just me who got this problem. That Zenji's flute is annoying, but I personally hate it. Weapon. We shall meet again. She looks very beautiful in this game. Honestly, I do prefer Dusty Wars 3 Zenji and her in Dusty Wars 6. Dusty Wars 3 to 6, to be honest, she's perfect. She's like the perfect Zenji. I don't really like her in other games, if you want me to be honest. I only like her in 3 and 6 because she really looks beautiful. She really, really, really looks absolutely stunning. But, I don't know. Probably my least favorite Zenji has to be... I think... Uh, either... I think pro probably 5. Mm, it's not like I'm a fan of, of Dusty Wars 5 Zenji, if you want me to be honest. I don't know. I'm not, like, the biggest fan. She really looks beautiful and stunning in 9, really. But... 3 and 6, she has the best design. My favorite design is the one in 6. I, I really think it's perfect, the design in 6. Every card in Dance with 6 are, are, are an absolutely unique design because it feels like it's a mix between old and new Dynasty Wars. But the entire... My gosh, Chacha, what's she doing? <laughs> the entire Dynasty Wars 9 existence is a mistake. I know people compare that game to Dynasty Wars 6. But honestly, Nasty War 6 is like 10 times better than the 9. Everybody just makes a mistake to compare it to 6. Like, when you see comparison, um, like everywhere, say, oh, Nasty War 6 and 9 are similar, comparison, Nasty War 6 to 9. Don't believe it because it's absolutely bullshit. You cannot compare these two games, I'm afraid. Besides being like the most hated titles. And that's it. They are just the most, like, eight titles, six and nine. But the comparison, guys, it ends here. You really cannot uh, compare these two because they absolutely have nothing to do with each other. They're different. They're absolutely different games, Dance Through 6 and Dance Through Wars 9. So please stop. Just don't listen to people who compare the game because that, that's absolutely bullshit. Really, it's bullshit. You really cannot compare these two titles at all. Sorry, but I think it, it's bullshit. It comes from an expert, because I play both. And a lot, so... I don't really f see how similar they can be. <clears throat> Besides, like, um, even the gameplay is a little bit different. But... They're like... It's just like a square spam. Both 6 and 9 are a square spam. Still, one is a fucking open world. And another is not. Plus, the difficulty is absolutely different. The difficulty of Dynasty Wars 6 is a lot harder than 9. Dynasty Wars 9 difficulty is a joke. It's, a, it's an absolute joke. That even a kindergarten can complete the game. That's how bad, how bad it is, Dynasty Wars 9. But real, Dynasty Wars 6 is... That's, it can be really difficult at, at times. If you start a story on our difficulty... Really, you're gonna have an hour our times. For my lord, I cannot die here. You're really gonna have an another time if you if you end up playing Dynasty Wars 6 on our difficulty. Like if you start a story, for example, I'm gonna start Zhao Yun on our difficulty. Do you realize how like how hard that will be? Honestly, you can to really start um story on hard. I'm not saying it's impossible because I've done it already. Nice, nice, we surrounded Gauju. So, <clears throat> it is possible to complete a story mode in our difficulty. But, you need to be careful. You really need to be extremely careful when you play on our difficulty. Since the game uh, is not really forgiving. <clears throat> so, that's what I, that's what I mean. But, that's through, that's through 9, uh, you can just like, jump into the game... Uh, Kill everybody you want, even play on the, on the hardest difficulty, and the, the enemy won't do shit to you. 
like the enemy will just not do shit to you honestly it's really it's ridiculous how bad I is Dynasty Wars 9 how easy it is I really found it like the most easy moose of games that that has been ever made I mean it's ridiculous how easy it is that game it's just like the difficulty to me that bothers me a lot I don't know other people are more bothered about the open world saying the open world is empty and everything yeah the open world is everything okay but what about the difficulty do you realize that it's like so easy and boring the game that you don't have anything to say about about that because I have lots of things to say about it I know there's actually people who complain about the difficulty too I know I know but they seems to forget all they seems to almost forget like they're more focused on the open world to be honest they're more focused to aid the open world than the, the difficulty. Which is, is a bit insane. Yeah, okay, the open world was supposed to be the main aspect of the game. So that's probably why you're hating it the most. Okay? I, I know why. Because you're, like, hating it the most. Because that was supposed to be the main concept, the open world. So, obviously, you're more focused on that than the difficulty. I mean... I know, I know that, the, that since Dynasty Series 7, the difficulty of Dynasty Series games have really been down, downgraded quite a bit, quite a lot. Well, bit by bit, until becoming absolutely boring. It became boring in Dynasty Series 8, the difficulty. Dynasty Series 7 was fun, in my opinion, because he really had a good story to make up to it. Yes, Dynasty Series 7 was, was a bit like 8. However, he really had a nice story. He, Dynasty Series 7 had the best storytelling of that of a Dynasty Wars game. Like, it's the best it's the best Dynasty Wars, Dynasty Wars story. Seven, absolutely. And I really wish they could they could actually make uh, like a story like seven because this this story of seven, it's beautiful. It cannot compare to eight. I did enjoy Dynasty Wars 8 story if you want me to be honest. I'm probably the one of the few people who didn't enjoy Dynasty Wars 8 that much. Because I know it's very overrated. Like people love it, they praise it, best muscle game, best Dynasty Wars game. Like are you serious? I really don't agree at all because I don't think Dynasty Wars 8 is good that much. Like people say, Dynasty Wars 8 is it's not like amazing. Honestly. I, I don't see all this hype about Dynasty Wars 8. Really. I, th I think it's a bit ridiculous. How how low is Dynasty Wars 8? I don't know, but <laughs> I don't like it, I don't enjoy it, and that's it, man, really. It's not really my thing, Dynasty Wars 8, at all. Like, at all. I don't know why, but it's the difficulty that really bothers me. The fact that the, the enemies, every time the enemies, they feel like flies, they feel like ants, like minions, it sucks. Take for example Dynasty Wars 3. Like, see, the, the enemies, they do feel like uh, badass, like if they're actually fighting a real war. But in Dynasty Wars 8, it doesn't really feel like you're actually at war. You feel like you're uh, out in kindergarten or something. I don't know. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Here. We are comboing like crazy, basically. All for the Muso armor. I wonder when I can stop comboing. Probably never. I can never stop comboing. <laughs> but, who knows. I still got loads of items. Like, loads of good items, so... Still, I do need to combo. Because of the Muso armor. Still missing like a, a few items, like the range scroll. Not sure I got a range scroll. Never mind. I mean, yeah, the range scroll for the for the bodyguards. That's the one I'm missing. The the range scroll for the bodyguards, like the rarest item ever. Some people said that it doesn't even exist that item because it is it, it is that hard to find. Like really, to, if you find it, you must be like. Uh, hold on, one my bodyguards are or their support. Okay, if you find the bodyguard, the bodyguard, um. The bodyguard item, the range scroll, the bodyguards, then you're like the luckiest person ever in this, in this game. Because seriously, it is rare. It is absolutely rare. I do agree with that actually. It, it will, you, even if you finish the game multiple times with every character, you'll, you'll have no chance to get it even then. 
Like, imagine how bad that is. Honestly. It is absolutely ridiculous. Really. Like, come on, bro. Give me. Talk to say that's not bad at all. I quit. I quit. I'm. I quit. I'm gonna quit, guys. I'm gonna quit YouTube because I am so annoyed that I don't get any views. So nobody watch my videos. I'm quitting. I want attention. I want that attention that nobody gives me. I'm quitting. I'm quitting YouTube. Because nobody watches my video. Whew. Wow. Give me two plus two. Yes, the plus two are oh, perfect. So, like I said, the dance towards nine is not the. It's not. It's not. I don't like it, and I don't like dance. And I don't like the, the easy difficulty. I like dance towards six because it, it's hard. That's it. But I don't agree, of course, with many things about Dance Tour 6 because Dance Tour 6 is still full of mistakes. Like the Rambo, that's probably one. But not just that, like the fact that every card is clone. I mean, not I mean like clone like Dance Tour 3, but like clone, 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 clone. Like every 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 move set of theirs are the same. It's not like they got different charges. Like they re they really are cloned uh, like badly. <laughs> They're badly cloned. That's the only problem with Dance Tour 6 because the card is like absolutely cloned. <clears throat> like no new cartes instead of remove cartes, so probably that's also another thing why it's hated because of the like every many cartes were all well, many like a few Pong Dead, Zosi, Shinsai, Zhang Wei, Dutch Yao, really, really, on really, oh, wrong as well. Why did they remove Zhang Wei? I mean, removing Zhang Wei was a little bit of a mistake for me to be honest. There was no need to remove Zhang Wei, it's a bit ridiculous if you want me, if you want my honest opinion. Then they had to re -add some stories in the PS2 version. Like, really, man? That was absolutely a cheap tactic, to be honest, to save money. Uh, everybody could tell. They, they just done that only to save some bucks. So, yeah. I don't understand really why Koei, like, plans to save money. Like, they, they make lots of money. For example, not translating Warrior Sorochi Z. And Samurai Warriors 3 for PS3. Samurai Warriors 2 for PS3, they're not translated. Like, come on, I, why? I don't get it. They, the, the games were already translated. So what the fuck were they doing? To not release them. I just think it's ridiculous, personally. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, guys, it's... It's a shame. The Samurai Wars 3 Extreme Legends, they, they come out in English, really. Like, I really think it's ridiculous. But I do play in Japanese, I'm not bothered. But I don't know if you guys would even are bothered about the non-Japanese language. I bet some of you are, but I really can do anything about it. If one day I'll decide like you play it, which I did, I read play Samurai Wars 3 Extreme Legends. No, no, no. None of you people were even bothered, to be honest, so... He's... Okay. And retreat. Fulfill your plan, Sumai. Okay. Bow attack. Uh, bow defense, of course. It's a cool thing I can check my weapons. Yeah, I did got already the um, some fourth weapons, but the videos will come will come out in um, after I finish every story, including Steam Legends. So I really hope you guys are patient about the fourth and fifth weapons. Oh, nice! We've created the Dragon Amulet, one of the most useless items for bodyguards. Very nice, very useless, but okay. No level three weapon yet. I can you believe, you guys? I've not got a level three weapon yet. Or Lucian. 
Well, like I said, I'm not bothered because I do like the, um, the design of the level 2 weapon. But, oh well. Next battle is going to be New FA Castle, so we gotta play New FA Castle without level 2 weapon. Uh, what can I do? We, we gotta deal with it, I guess. Well, followers, I guess this is everything now, and I'll catch you guys later. So, as always, like, subscribe, comment, consider becoming part of a sponsor of my channel, becoming a member, to access exclusive perks like new Let's Plays, tutorials, and also video previews, so you can watch the videos before everybody else. Right, and I'll catch you guys soon, take care, and subscribe to my girlfriend, Pete Obsessive. Bye-bye.